Hey guys, today we are uh, reviewing this. This is a device that's connect that connects to your car. You need to have CarPlay enabled car to use it. This is not a wireless extension for your phone. This is a standalone device that's using the CarPlay interface to show um, the system that's installed over here on your screen. screen. It takes control over the touch uh, input and some of the buttons. So you have an Android system over here. It's not uh, exclusive for, vol uh, for Volkswagen. In fact, it should work in all cars that are CarPlay enabled. So it doesn't matter if you have Audi, BMW, Ford, uh, Hyundai, Volvo. It doesn't matter if your car works with CarPlay, with your with iPhones, this will pretend to be an iPhone and as soon as the car give it, gives it the control over the screen, it will show you an Android interface. So this is not mirroring, this is not Android Auto, um, this, is, this not, does not require any uh, modifications in your car. In fact, the installation is as easy at, as plug it in to the USB port. And within 20 seconds from uh, from that, from when you plug it in, you will have the Android interface on your screen. So let's quickly go through the technical specification, the basic stuff. We have uh, two gigs of RAM over here. We have uh, 16 gigs of uh, flash memory and the um, CPU over here. The system on the chip is a Cortex A53. ARM V8L and it's clocked between 480 and 1800 MHz. The extended technical specification will be in the description below this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the in the comments below. And right now I'm going to show you the fun stuff. So I'm not going to talk much. Let me just show you what you can do with this device. Just remember to be responsible. Don't watch videos while driving. This is meant uh, from for your passengers or for you when you are at standstill for example i'm using it while i'm eating uh, in a drive-thru okay uh, enough talking let me show you what you can do with it Head southwest. In 50 meters, turn right. Turn right.
What's the weather like right now in Berlin? Right now in Berlin, it's 35 degrees and cloudy. Today, there'll be rain and snow with a forecast high of 35 and a low of 33. Okay, I think that we can all agree that this device is very cool. If you, you have an application that you need to use on your uh, car display, this is the way to go. You can also uh, jailbreak your phone or root your Android device, but if you don't have that uh, possibility, for example, there's no jailbreak or root uh, um, available for your device, or um, your device is still under warranty or whatever you, uh, your reason is, uh, this is a cool way to do it. It's plug and play, it boots up in 20 or 30 seconds. You can still go back to your car's interface like that. There's some dedicated icon, of course, and you can uh, press any of the car, um, car buttons to go to your radio or wherever wherever you want to go and then go just, just go back to uh, CarPlay and you are back in the device interface. There's a bunch of apps available over here. Of course, you have access to Google Play Store, so the, uh, um, the only problem for you is to pick the right app that you want to use. Uh, I've showed you how to watch videos, listen to music, and uh, some other cool uh, things like games or webcams. This supports a bunch of USB devices like storage and um, controllers, keyboards, mouse, I believe. Pretty much everything that you can uh, connect uh, over here will work with this device. I'm not trying to connect a one terabyte external hard drive because I don't think that it will be able to spin it up. As I said in the beginning, this is using CarPlay protocol. So your car is sharing your GPS position with the device so you can use Google Maps on it. But if your car is not uh, not equipped with GPS receiver, there's a GPS uh, um, uh, sensor over here, which you need to just uh, connect to your power outlet. It, there's a um, uh, hardwire, hardwire kit over here with a, a fuse tab. Hide it somewhere under the dashboard and this will connect to it wirelessly and you will have your GPS position for Google Maps and other applications over here. I think I covered all, all the pros, so now let's talk about cons. Uh, some applications are not ready for such small uh, display as I have over here, but luckily you can go into settings and you can uh, go to general settings and there's a third party application display size settings to, setting to customize. And this helped me a lot when, um, for example, setting up the Yahoo weather because the uh, confirm button was somewhere uh, over here, I would say, and when I set the user um, uh, user interface to tiny it was uh, it was back on the visible part of the screen and I can uh, I could uh, uh, finish the setup with this stock video application is too simple for my needs but you can also install something else like a VLC you have access to Google Play Store so you can uh, install your favorite video player over here and the main concern over here is the Bluetooth of course there's a Bluetooth you can connect to your phone to use it as a hands-free kit or as a, um, a music streaming uh, over Bluetooth. The A2DP protocol is available over here, but sadly you cannot connect this Bluetooth to an OBD2 device. I was hoping to have a um, OBD11 application over here and perform some coding and adaptations from the screen, but sadly and uh, this Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth device that's integrated into this uh, piece of hardware is um, is locked for some reason um, and I cannot pair it with anything else. In fact, I can show you like this. Open Bluetooth settings. You can see that the Bluetooth is off when actually it's on because it's connected with the my car and with my phone over here. And if I try to toggle it on, it will just uh, freeze like that so don't try to do it of course i'm using um, uh, google assistant to vo voice commands to access some of the settings because those settings over here are prepared by the manufacturer and uh, um, it's a very simple uh, simple setup not a lot of options over here pretty much uh, time and some user interface options but you can access the full settings uh, with the voice command if you just say 
open system settings you will have a link to your system settings over here and you have a lot more over here so we can override it of course I'm not uh, using um, Android devices uh, on a daily basis so you will be more uh, if you are more experienced you will be able to do much more with it I'm not even sure if this device is rooted if you can uh, use it uh, if you can use it uh, freely or if you can if you need to root it uh, first also, there's no re real time clock, so as soon as you disconnect it from the USB port, uh, the clock over here will reset and it will set up automatically back when it's powered on as soon as the internet connection is available. So, if you are going to use it offline without internet connection, maybe for your videos or games, um, the clock will be not set. Okay, that's it for today. If you have any questions about this device, leave it in the comment section below. I will add uh, some technical specification over there as well. There's a link to AliExpress. There's a coupon code if you want to uh, buy this device with uh, a lower price. It's Mr. Fix 2021. And I think that's it for today. As I said before, if you are experienced with Android devices, you will be able to do with it much more than me. I've played around with it, used it with webcams and other stuff, uh, played some games. It, it was a lot of fun. And I've even tried it in a different car in um, Ford Transit with a glass display. It was more, uh, more responsive than this one. Of course, I have a touch uh, touch uh, controls over here, but uh, ones in Ford in on the glass screen were even better than over here. Um, give me thumbs up if you like this test and review, and see you soon.